Doctors and nurses around the state have been getting much deserved praise for the work they're doing during the pandemic. Nancy Cox joins us now live to tell us more about a small group of frontline workers who are also putting their lives at risk every day. Nancy. They sure are. We're talking about respiratory therapists or RTs for short. There are about 3,600 in the state and LEX 18's Kristen Edwards gives us a glimpse of how they're managing during this outbreak. Respiratory therapists or RTs are on the front lines keeping critical COVID-19 patients breathing. Anytime a patient develops respiratory failure, can't breathe, that's when a respiratory therapist steps in with the ventilator. Tim Haddon is the president of a nonprofit representing RTs across the bluegrass. And he says right now, many are stressed and worried for the future. Really what's, ha what's happening on the front line now is there's of course a lot of panic. We don't really know what's to come. So really we're just preparing for things to possibly get worse in the future. So far, he says there's not a ventilator shortage in the bluegrass, but hospitals are stockpiling them just in case. You're seeing a lot of facilities bring out old equipment that they haven't used in years just to kind of make sure that if something does happen and it does get worse, that there's enough equipment out there for people to uh, be taken care of. For now, he's optimistic that Kentucky would be able to handle a potential surge of patients, but only time will tell. It's just right now it's kind of wait and see, prepare for the worst and um, hope for the best. His plea to the community is to stay at home as much as possible and offer support to RTs and other workers putting their lives and their families' lives at risk every day. Kristen Edwards, LEX 18 News.